Hello dear readers, if you haven't already grabbed a copy of Second Chances, I really hope that this extract from chapter 10 about Florence, who's a neighbour of Molly's, will inspire you to go out and buy your copy or gift it to, a, to one of your friends or family. So here it is, chapter 10. Florence was sent back from India to the coldness of Tamshire where she missed her mother and her sibling, Booty. And she came up with the idea as a young girl that she would write letters because that would help her cope with living in an alien country, having been born and brought up in her earlier years in India. So here goes. Chapter 10. Florence started to write letters thanks to her grandparents who gifted her a writing set that held the whitest of paper. Her father found a suitable ink pen from his study. She wrote furiously, sending weekly exchanges to her mother and her sister. Whenever she conjured up pictures of them living a wonderful life in the heat and humidity, a jab of envy would strike. She imagined herself reunited with her best friend Bryce, envisioning the early morning lessons they'd shared with their English tutor, and how, after each lesson, she and Bryce would splash about and swim in the mosaic tiled pool. Their shrieks of laughter had echoed through the house and across the sloping gardens. She had a vision of her beautiful mother. At a set hour each day, standing on their shaded terrace, her mother entertained friends and served afternoon tea. Later, as the sun set over an orange-hued mountain, a servant would pour chilled champagne for her guests. Florence clung to that little vision of heaven as she wrote.